She told her she didn't want to have the abortion. We'll soon find out. Hello? Hi, is Amy there, please? This is Connie. Just a moment, please. Amy, it's for you, and don't talk long. Hello? Hi, Amy. I just called to see how you were doing. I'm fine, thanks. Well, how'd the conversation with your mom go? I think we've worked it out. Oh, that's great. You're not going to have the abortion. Yeah, right. Amy, get off the phone. Now. Listen, I know you've made the right choice. That little baby inside you is so... Amy, get in the car. I'll be there in just a minute. Does anyone see me, Dad? Upstairs. Mom, everything's turned out great. She's not going to have the abortion. She can have a baby. Isn't that neat? Well, Connie, it won't be neat. Under these circumstances, honey, no. It, she made the right choice, though. I know she did. I just wish she would have made the right choice three months ago. Why'd she go and get pregnant? Connie, she got pregnant because she was just, she was looking for love. In, in all the wrong, wrong places. <laughs> you won't ever make that mistake, though, Connie. Because you know that you are not ready for that kind of a relationship until after you're married. You know that. Yeah. And then when you get married, you'll stay married, won't you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yo, Mrs. Collins, is uh, Doug upstairs? Uh-huh. Are you going to go up there? Yep. Sure talk manly, don't I? <laughs> Clarence, you are really growing up. I feel my muscle? <laughs> no, Mrs. Collins? I like girls. Let's go out in the garage where we'll be safe until Clarence leaves. Doug, I got a real important question I want to ask you. Clarence, do you know how to knock? Yeah, like this. Listen, I I've got to tell you something first. No, this is way more important. Take a look at me. Take a good long look at me, okay? What do you think? What do you see? Come on, tell me. Well, I, I see you, Clarence. You're a great guy. I like you a lot, okay? Get your hands off me. That's just what you'd say. <laughs> Doug, when, when you see me, why don't you, like, hit me in the shoulder or something? Come on. I'm tough. I can take it. Clarence, I don't want to hurt you. Doug, I'm taking over a new leaf. I'm going to be a real man's man now. Come on. I can take it. Hurt me. Okay. Ow! Doug, that really hurt. Well, Clarence, could you cut it out? How come you're acting so queer? Queer? I'm acting queer? Hey, I'm not queer, okay? I'll tell you who's queer. Ty is queer. Ty? The, the guy in our track team? What do you mean? The, the guy that we're in the locker room with? The guy that we shower with all the... Ah! No way! How do you know this? Well, he tried to put the moves on me last night. Oh, come on. Ty, a homosexual? Yeah, what he did is he tried to run his fingers through my hair. And, of course, he couldn't actually get them through my hair. He told me that I had beautiful earlobes, that he liked my lips. <laughs> Wait, come on, Clarence. I think we jumped to conclusions here. I mean, hey, Ty talks about girls all the time. I mean, he has girlfriends himself. Doug, poor innocent Doug, please sit down. Sit down. Okay, let me put it to you like this. You've got a restaurant, right? And you've got the kitchen, and you've got the dining area, and you've got the door in between that swings both ways. Well, Ty is the door. Okay. Okay, I can see we're really getting somewhere. Okay, sports. Sports, okay? Okay. Baseball. Okay. Now, baseball. Okay. Okay. Think of this. You got some guys 
that hit right-handed. Then you got some guys that hit left-handed. And then you've got the guys that... Switch hitters. No way. Ty is, is by... Clarence. Oh, great. Well, Sh Cheryl's really picked a winner to go out with tonight, hasn't she? <laughs> ah! Cheryl's out with Ty? What happened between you two? Oh, never mind. It's a long story, okay? Listen, I've got to tell you something now, and you've got to promise not to tell a soul. Life is like a It's all the mist.